What is going on YouTube? Uh, today I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on the Jeep. More specifically why I haven't said anything about the Jeep um, for a while. And basically what happened is it snowed and uh, we're, we're a couple of lazy bums and we didn't feel like working on it in the snow. So that was, that was a big part of it. Also we, uh, we, we weren't sure what was wrong with it. And once we did figure it out, it was snowing and, and we're lazy bums. And the junkyard that we were going to get the new part from is also staffed by a bunch of lazy bums and they didn't want to go out in the snow either, which is perfectly understandable, you know. Uh, us Washingtonians don't really know what to do when it snows and we got about, uh, at my grandparents' house they got about three or four feet and in town here we got about two feet, uh, actually no, a little bit more than that, maybe two and a half. But anyway, um, the snow and that kind of that ruined everything. But we did figure out, uh, we, we got a pretty good theory going on here. We think that uh, we're putting the wrong transfer case in it. Well, we know we were putting the wrong transfer case in, and we think the reason um, that it wouldn't move is because the splines were different. Like the spline on the input shaft for the transfer case is a different size. Uh, I think it's bigger than the spline on the output shaft from coming from the transmission. And so I think it just kind of slipped over the output shaft for the transmission and didn't actually engage it at all. Uh, that would explain a lot of things. Um, so what we did is we found an exact fit, um, a 242 with a 4x4 um, part and full time out of an 89 Cherokee in the junkyard. And we pulled that out and we're gonna I think, actually, you know what, we're not, com well, I am a lazy bum, but Aiden isn't as much of a lazy bum as I am, because he actually got under the Jeep and pulled the old transfer case out, and um, so pretty soon here we're going to be bolting the new one back up and seeing if it'll move, and that'd be pretty cool if it moved, because uh, it kind of sucks that it doesn't right now, you know, uh, but anyway, uh, that's just a little bit of an update for you guys. Also, in other news, I fixed the beam pattern on my HIDs. I went and moved the bulb around on my driver's side a little bit and got a bit better beam pattern out of it, so, uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, just stay tuned for the next XJ video. It should be coming up here maybe beginning of next week. I should be able to film it either tomorrow or over the weekend. And it um, shouldn't take too long to tell if this is going to work. All we're going to do is install a new transfer case. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, feel free to subscribe.